Because we already know that Clemson has the turkey insemination advantage, thanks Robbie Caldwell, here are three reasons why Clemson's gonna beat Florida State this season. Number one, the game's at Clemson. Death Valley, loud place to play. Jameis Winston, very promising, very good early on in the season. It becomes harder at a tough place like Tiger Stadium, where he's not gonna be able to hear everything, not gonna be able to get into a rhythm against a very much improved Clemson defense. A lot more difficult. Number two, continuity. Clemson returns all sorts of playmakers on both sides of the ball and the coaching staff returns. Chad Morris is back as the highest paid offensive coordinator. Brent Venables in year two with that improved defense, whereas Florida State overhauled coaching staff, loses key members of that front seven. If you're gonna go to war with somebody, go to war with guys that have been there before. Clemson has that. And number three, the resumes. By the time the two teams play, Clemson will still have beaten Georgia, a team still in the national championship conversation, and for good reason, whereas Florida State will have beaten Pitt, Maybe Maryland, we'll see what happens. In a big game like this, in a loud place like Clemson, it helps to have been there before. The guys on Florida State haven't yet got to like Clemson there. So, a rowdy Tiger Stadium, continuity with players and coaches, and the resumes of these two teams are three reasons why Clemson will beat Florida State in 2013. For more on Clemson, be sure to check out Shaking the Southland on the SB Nation Network. We'll see you soon.